you now have the power of a supercomputer in your pocket and can carry it with you everywhere you go. Today there are billions of smartphones in the world, billions of laptops, and they all have microchips inside them that are only possible because of Moore's law. Without Moore's law and shrinking down those transistors, the chips inside them would be the size of parking spaces and your smartphone would be the size of a tennis court. 50 years ago, Intel co-founder Gordon Moore made an observation that transistors were shrinking at a predictable rate and they were halving in size every year or two. That prediction ended up being the mantra that set the pace for innovation in an entire industry for the next 50 years, and that became known as Moore's Law. It became the driving force for thousands of engineers who took it personally that every day they're going to come in and figure out a way to push up against the laws of physics and keep shrinking these things down to the point where they're so small now they're invisible to the human eye. If you took your car and shrank it at the same rate they have shrunk transistors over the last 50 years, that car would now be the size of an ant. And if you didn't have Moore's Law, you wouldn't have Netflix, there'd be no internet, you wouldn't have personal computers, you wouldn't have ATM machines, there'd be no Google searches, no Facebook. So we've really enjoyed great benefits of Moore's Law for the last 50 years. Almost every aspect of commerce, of industry, of business is going to be dramatically changed in the next 10 years as the fruits of Moore's Law really start to come into play.